What's up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your ninth Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called sequences. Now what a sequence is, is pretty much something that lets you store um, data and it sounds pretty simple but it's pretty much like a list and actually one of the things um, in Python is called a list and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. And uh, the other main type of sequence I'll probably be talking about pretty soon is called a tuple or T-U-P-L-E, some people call it a tuple, I call it a tuple, either way. But uh, let me show you guys how to make a list so you guys actually know what I'm talking about. Now to make a list in Python, first of all you have to give it a name, and I'm going to name mine family. Next you make an equal sign, and in square brackets you add all of your elements of the list. So I'm going to have one called mom, uh, dad's part of the family, um, bro and make sure since these are strings they're surrounded in single quotes um, what else can we add sis um, and let's add one more dog now once you have your family name and all of your elements are properly properly formatted go ahead and hit enter and your list is now stored in your computer somewhere doesn't matter now another thing that you need to take note of is once you create your list Python automatically numbers every single element in your list and they're numbered kind of weird so listen closely unlike the first one being one and the second one being two what your computer does is since it loves zeros and ones it starts all of these out at zero so mom is zero dad is one bro two three four so even though there are five elements in the list, they're numbered zero through four. And why is this useful? Because you can access each individual member of your list or element of your list by something called indexing. So if you go ahead and type the name of your list, then type the index number and press enter, it's going to show you that member of your list or that element. So why did sys pop up when you put family three? Again, this was mom zero, one, two, three. So sis was a third element. So that's how you access that. Now you can do this with any of your elements. And another thing that they did was once you have lists that were so long, it was kind of difficult for Python or for you to count all the way to the end of the list. So they made it easier to count from the end of the list backwards if you think that you can do that easier. Now unlike what you would usually think, instead of this being zero, the last element in your list is negative one. And then it goes on negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. It can't be negative zero because negative zero is the same thing as zero and that would just not make sense. So again, let's go ahead and let me show you an example of that family and let me put negative two again it is sis again and this is why is because dog is negative one once you index from the back of your list then sis is negative two so that is how you count from the back of your list the reference numbers and so that is how you make a simple list and each element in your list is automatically assigned two values once I mean one of the values is the values to count forward 0 1 2 3 4 and the other value you can reference it by is by counting backwards negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 so that is how you do that and another thing I wanna uh, teach you guys before I leave is that strings can also be sequences so say you have a string like uh, Bucky these are also automatically numbered 0 one two three four so if you want to index something like three what's this going to do when we press enter is say all right b is zero u is one c is two k is three let me go ahead and enter that that's why it outputs k so again not only a list but also strings you can index to pick out certain values so that is your quick tutorial on sequences in lists in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, something really cool. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you like these tutorials. And 
uh, I guess that's all I have for this tutorial. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.